the aim of this uh, series of workshops we organize in the project is to bring together different stakeholders, data collectors, users and people from uh, certified bodies in order to have participating approach into uh, how we develop our issues and how we try to solve it. We use five heads methods to uh, organize a discussion in the workshop in order to make people focus on certain viewpoints and emotions like the critical point of view, the optimistic point of view and this was uh, a way to uh, allow people to somehow think it more in a general way. The first session is about uh, institutional environment, which means what kind of conditions should be the different bodies involved in data collection and handling of data be involved. The key message is that institutes need to talk with each other, but the key challenge is how to convince them to do that. If they're aware of the mutual benefits of, of data collection, then they're going to talk with each other and then they're going to come to some solutions. But they have to do more than that. They have to convince their governments in the individual countries that the governments also need to talk to each other and the governments also have to finance their collection activities. There is a need for more collaboration and also commitment by all the stakeholders to have the data on organic sector because ultimately they are very relevant for uh, the policy maker, for the stakeholders and for the consumers. The second station and the third station, they are both concerned about statistical procedures and how to transform the data needs into practice. Different data categories require different solutions. And one of the most difficult issues, for example, turned out to be the farm level prices, because if you have price information, you also have a power you can influence, potentially influence the market. But we also heard really creative solutions where farmers are supplying their data and in return for the supply of the data they get the tables for free or they get access to the information that is generated for free, which sends an incentive. So a lot of improving data quality is about give and take. And with regards to retail sales data, the most difficult area are the direct sales because farmers are reluctant to share that information also because it may influence their tax bill. The fourth station is about the statistical output. We were in, in our group dealing mainly with data collection, data processing and data publishing. We had a whole series of ideas how to improve the data quality. And this goes from the basic techniques like uh, cross-checking, horizontal cross-checking, vertical, time, timeline cross-checking. We were talking about communication and dialogue. And this is interesting for me personally because I'm working a lot in product supply chain. So I'm dealing a lot with product flows. And here we are in something which is much more abstract. It's data flows and information flows. But basically, the core issue is the same. So you have to organize a vertical dialogue about uh, who is needing the data, who is using it for what, and this is the basic precondition for getting the right data collected on the first hand and then treated it the right way, the second published it in the right way, the third. We found it useful to merge conventional data collection and conventional data processing pro processes and organic ones, while in the past it was often separated. And our final issue then was uh, the accessibility uh, of data. Well, all these data have to be read, and all the state have to be understood. We were quite critical about uh, the existing solution on any level. You don't finally get the quality information about the data. And you perhaps might base your decision on data that look quite sound, but they are not. And, and all these details should be published with the data in a more accessible, in a more easy, in a more fun way. So the, the method used during the, this workshop was quite creative. We, used to ha we had hats of different colors and we were using cards of different colors and taking different personalities. And this, this uh, tool or this way helped us, it broke the ice between the participants. It's been very interesting that people seem to have so many similar problems. A lot of the challenges actually were very similar. Uh, about supply chain data, about trusting, about value, 
com competition um, and also about calibrating that data and, and labeling it so uh, whereas in one country the thing is under this heading in another country it's under a different heading and that sort of thing is we, we've got to get over that. The discussion that happens um, outside the, the lecture rooms are also really important um, and I think we need also more awareness of these different kind of organizations in Europe because all of us are not aware of each other yet. Uh, one of the things that is very important is harmonization of the data collection, harmonization of codes and harmonization of the processes. For me, most I learned is uh, about the classification system and uh, to see that uh, it is necessary also in, our, in my own company uh, to have a classification system which is, uh, yeah, fits not only for our company, which is also can be used for, other, um, for the others so that we are compatible for the, for the world. The market data is, is really interesting for everyone and I, I hope that in, in the future there will be uh, more, more data available.